worked out beautifully. What we did, first of all, we got a lightning lane for Flight of Passage that we're gonna go on in like five minutes, but because we got that lightning lane, we decided to rope drop Navi with our journey. And because everyone was going to Flight of Passage, Navi was like, um, Navi with her journey was just a walk on. So we rope dropped that, we got a lightning lane for Flight of Passage, and now we're eating French toast sticks and orange juice from Pongu Pongu. It's right next to Satuli Canteen, but just to let you know, Satuli Canteen, the earliest time you can order food for there is 10 a.m. and it's only 7.30. So please order your food in advance if you want to eat breakfast there because it sells out very quickly. And something to note that I did make a mistake on is that I didn't expect Kilimanjaro Safari um, Genie Plus selections to go out so quickly. Um, by like 7.05 it was already to 2.30 p.m. and we decided that we're only staying half a day here and then park hopping so we couldn't you know, um, accept that selection. So instead we got a Genie Plus for a dinosaur. But if you want to do Kilimanjaro Safari, definitely book that Genie Plus selection as fast as you can. dining experience. Now, I know that some people might not think character dining is worth it right now because you can't actually hug the characters or get autographs from the characters, but I love the way Tesco House does character dining because they let you stand up, they tell you where to go, and you get really special pictures. The food there was delicious. They had, um, it was like an all-you-can-eat um, format to um, dine there, and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely recommend you go, and, you know, character dining is soon going to be changing again, um, back to normal, hopefully, because normal me and greets are coming back next week, but it was such an amazing experience, and I definitely recommend going checking it out. scavenger hunts. So they put Easter eggs themed like as different Disney characters all over the world showcase and in, and in each country is a different egg. So I've only actually gotten one egg so far so I, I'm a little ahead. I got Daisy Duck in the France Pavilion because we were actually there on um, Tuesday night at, at Chef's de France and we saw it while we were taking pictures in the France Pavilion. I was like yes! And we bought the map so we have one down out of 12 and I'm very excited like today is literally dedicated to doing the Easter egg hunt um it's the day before Easter um I I'm very happy I'm very excited we're also going to do some rides we bought Disney Genie Plus today so we'll also be talking strategy about Disney Genie Plus but it's just going to be a fun day celebrating Easter being an Epcot doing the flower and garden festival there's so much things to do and i'm so excited this is my little outfit i thought it gave like flower and garden easter vibes you know i thought this would be the perfect outfit for epcot today um so let's go do this I 
just got the Vital Lemonade from the Pineapple Promenade and it's right where Future World ends and like World Showcase begins right there and it is so good, so refreshing. It kind of reminds me of like a slushy, and it tastes just like lemonade, which is like a different like flavor. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it tastes exactly like the refreshment is just the same as lemonade, but it just has a little violet kick. But I really enjoyed it and I really love it. I found Goofy. He is right next to the Cellier Steakhouse. If you go and you look at the gardens, He's right in front. There's the kid cot entrance. So he's right in front of here. Well, here's the map. We have Goofy so far in the Canada Pavilion, Daisy Duck in France. And now we have to go to the World Show Place to find the next end. So this is where Peter Pan and Captain Rock is, and that's TikTok Clock, right? So you look at the Joffrey stand, right across from it is Scrooge. And so this is usually where um, the World Show Place is. I don't know why it's closed, but this is where to find him. So we're putting him right here. Okay, so we have this gazebo thing, right? You look to your right, the white rabbit is like all the way up there. But, um, what a cutie. Wait, I'll zoom in. There's the white rabbit. So there's Japan, there's the Japan Pavilion, and right here before we enter the Morocco Pavilion is Thumper. So next to this tower there's a pond, right? And there's Figment on the egg. So we're at the American Pavilion. Okay, my hair is up, and we got underneath um, shade, which is great. At the Japan Pavilion, I had sushi and chicken yakitori. And these both were so good. I gave sushi an 8 out of 10 because it's literally just fruit with whipped cream wrapped in rice, and it was so good. Just a little too sweet for me right now. I just was craving something, I guess, more savory. And so, I, thus I gave chicken yakitori a 10 out of 10. The chicken was so good, it was hot, and dipped in the sauce was delicious. So, it's honestly what you're like, like craving at that moment. Like, if you want sweet, go with the fushi. If you want savory, go with the chicken. But, it's all part of the flower and garden. If you get the little booklet, it helps. It shows you all the menus that are around the world showcase. About the American Pavilion right now. And in the American Pavilion, you can get funnel cake, a seafood boil, grilled oysters, some more like seafood options. Um, because we just saved the Japan Pavilion, we're not getting anything here, but it is good to know and that's why this is so helpful. And they have lots of vegan options and it's really cool. So I highly recommend when you're entering the park, grabbing this little booklet. It's very helpful. So right next to the Wago Eagle steps is the Minnie Mouse egg. So right on top of the Tudo Italia restaurant is Mickey Mouse. Now, my memory card actually was like full, so I couldn't. Pass this line. Then at the next one, turn right. <laughs> so I couldn't finish vlogging, but we finished the egg hunt and. So there was four different containers you could get as a reward. We had two maps, so we got two rewards or two prizes. And so you could have picked a Spike the Bee container, a Figment container, an Orange Bird container, or a Mickey Mouse container. So because we had two prizes, we got the and Mickey the Mouse. Lights. Turn right onto West Buena Vista Drive. The Mickey Mouse and the Figment containers. Um, and they're very cute. They're just little containers, but I think that was a really cute reward. Um, then we had um, lunch at Garden Grill. Garden Grill is one of my favorite places to eat. They have delicious food, they have turkey, they have potatoes, they have salad. It's very nice, it's family style, all you can eat. Um, you can't really get up and close with the characters Enough. yet, but Chip, Dale, Mickey, and Pluto are there, so that was really fun too. Now we're on our way for dinner at Chef Mickey's. And Chef Mickey's is a really cool place to eat. It's at the Contemporary. Um, I'm not really sure how um, they're doing it 
because it used to be a buffet and because of covid buffets became all you can eat but they now are now bringing buffets back so i'll we'll see if they have a buffet now or if it's still family style but i'll let you know We had a delicious, delicious dinner at Chef Mickey's. It is not a buffet right now. We got to see Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald. There was no Pluto. The food was really good. Um, <laughs> um, the food was really good. And I always do recommend like um, reserving a dinner at one of the monorail resorts if you want to see the fireworks, because it's really cool and really unique to see the fireworks from a monorail resort. I mean, you're not gonna see the projections, but it's so cool to just see the fireworks up. And there was all the, the, the bunch of people outside, and it felt like a bonding moment too. Like, I don't even know how to explain. We were just all watching in awe, and I was looking around like, wow. Like, this is just so magical to be in this like group of people just watching. Obviously, you should also go watch it from the Magic Kingdom, but if you do have an extra day in your trip and you have like a pool day or something, Schedule a dinner at a Monterey Resort because it's really worth it. Or you could do, so schedule a dinner at an Epcot Resort and watch Harmonious from an Epcot Resort. You could do either of those too, but I do highly recommend checking out the Monterey Resorts and resort hopping around the Monterey. It's really fun. But we were just going to do some last, like night, like late night shopping. And that is all from me. Um, also, I just want to say Genie Plus and Epcot. I don't think it's worth it, but there is really long waits. But the only way Genie Plus is worth it in Epcot is if you go in the mindset you're only going to get two rides or three rides done in that day. Because Epcot rides do have really long wait times since there's only a few rides at Epcot. But you're not going to get a lot of rides done with Disney Genie Plus. So just keep that in mind. Um, we were able to get Soaring and Test Track done. Um, and those are really too high in demand rides, so I was very happy that we got those done with Disney Genie Plus. But some people may not be satisfied with just getting two rides done with the price of Disney Genie Plus. So that is all from me. Thank you so much. Bye!